Hey everyone, and welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to quickly and easily set up what's called a side chain here in Studio One. Let's take a look. All right, so you're going to hear the term side chaining quite a bit in audio production. Basically, theoretically, it simply means one track is going to trigger the effect on another track or multiple tracks. And I'm gonna show you how to easily set up a side chain here in Studio One. So in this example, I've got a loop track here and a voiceover that I recorded. And what side chaining can do, for example, is it can duck the audio so the voiceover comes through clearer in those passages it's supposed to. Let's take a quick listen to this before we side chain it. Hey everyone, welcome to ProMix Academy. My name's Carlo, thanks for being part of this. Now typically you could draw in automation, but what side chaining does is it's an automatic application, it allows you to do it for you. And to get started, what I'm gonna do is take a compressor, for example, and bring it onto my loop track. And there we have it. Now, if you notice, there's a, here, you can choose, there's a button here for side chaining. If I select this, turn the side chaining on, you can see that I have my voiceover track. You'll have multiple tracks here that you can choose from. But in this case, it'll be my VO track. And there we have now the compressor on my loop track is now going to communicate with the voiceover track here through the side chaining application. But first, we have to set our compressor. So what I'm going to do here is I'll, I'll tweak the parameters really quickly for us. Now, the voiceover volume is going to trigger the compressor really where the threshold is, and it's going to tell the compressor by how much to turn down. And then we're going to have our voiceover is going to pop out when it's supposed to. And then the volume of the audio in the background, the loop is going to raise up when it should. Let's see how this sounds. Hey everyone, welcome to ProMix Academy. My name's Carlo, thanks for being part of this. We're gonna show you how, get it all done and get it done right here. There, so as you can see, the voiceover track is now triggering the compressor and it's turning it down for us automatically. This technique is called ducking in audio production. And this works great for drums and bass and snare drums and kick drums together or any instruments that you want to give room in a mix when it's their time to shine. Yes, you could automate levels, but this is an automatic way of doing it for you. Plus you could use it for real creative purposes like triggering reverbs and delays and certain EQ applications and such. Hopefully you can begin to see the limitless power that side chaining can offer you in your audio productions. Again, you're gonna hear the term quite a bit, and this is how you can simply and quickly set up a side chain here in Studio One. So, as I always say, try it for yourself, stay busy, and stay creative. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, and thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Leave your comments below. Like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to download that cheat sheet in the description below.